The 6th of November 2018 T 12 hours 37 minutes and 21 seconds, 516Z from Treasury Questions, Philip Hammond has been talking about Brexit. The 6th of November 2018 T 12 hours 6 minutes and 54 seconds, 796Z Ms. Denham told the fake news inquiry, the major concern that I have in this investigation is the very disturbing disregard that many of these organisations across the entire ecosystem have for the personal privacy of UK citizens and voters. If you look across the whole system, that is really what this report is about and we have to improve these practices for the future, asked to which organisations she is referring, Ms. Denham replied, Facebook, data brokers, political Political campaigns, data companies, as you know we're looking at political parties and their use of data so we really need to tighten up controls across the entire ecosystem because it matters to our democratic processes. The 6th of November 2018 T 12 hours 0 minutes and 27 seconds, 390Z Information Commissioner Elizabeth Denham has told MPs there were problems with how Facebook attempted to ensure users' data was deleted by organizations like Cambridge Analytica. Facebook required signed confirmation the data had been deleted from the heads of organizations which obtained it, she said, but that was not always the case, we've found some problems with the signing of those authorizations, some of them weren't signed at all, Ms. Denham told the Commons Culture, Media and Sport Committee. In addition, the Information Commissioner's Office, ICO, has evidence Cambridge Analytica still held some of the data as recently as spring 2018 despite claiming it had previously been deleted, the follow-up was less than robust and that's one of the reasons we find Facebook £500,000, she added. The 6th of November 2018 T 11 hours 42 minutes and 0 seconds point zero three zero Z Most of Theresa May's cabinet are still at number 10 after more than 2 hours, says BBC's political editor. Philip Hammond is now in the Commons for Treasury Questions. The 6th of November 2018 T 11 hours 34 minutes and 18 seconds point zero nine six Z The Commons is about to sit for the day, beginning with Treasury questions, and Philip Hammond and his team are ready for action. He's clearly trying to up his social media game, a la his deputy Liz Trust. The 6th of November 2018 T 11 hours 12 minutes and 11 seconds, 623Z Gemma White QC has been appointed to lead a new inquiry into bullying against staff employed by MPs and peers, as reported by The Independent at the weekend. The inquiry will proceed in two stages. The first will consider issues relating to the treatment of staff and others working directly for MPs, either in the Commons or in constituency offices now and in the past. Interestingly, the second stage will consider issues relating to the treatment of MPs by each other and by staff. Ms. White has written to more than 7,000 staff, past and present, encouraging them to come forward. The letter says, it is important for the restoration of faith in the way the House and its members treat those working for us that as wide a range as possible of testimony is offered to the inquiry. The parliamentary community must ensure that everyone is treated with dignity and respect and we hope that the outcome of Gemma White's inquiry will help us to do that. The 6th of November 2018 T 10 hours 37 minutes and 29 seconds point zero 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 Z Dep Chief Whip Jeffrey Donaldson says the UK is heading for no deal if Irish government doesn't compromise. Important intervention as the dub props up Theresa May's government, the 6th of November 2018 T 10 hours 14 minutes and 29 seconds point zero three zero Z Breaking News, Brexit Campaign Group Leave. EU and the Ildon insurance company owned by its founder Aaron Banks face fines totaling £135,000 over breaches of data laws, Information Commissioner Elizabeth Denham has confirmed. The report states that leave. EU and Ildon, trading as Goskipi, are being fined £60,000 each for serious breaches of the law which governs electronic marketing. More than a million emails were sent to leave. EU subscribers over two separate periods which also included marketing for Goskipi services, without their consent, the report says. Leave. EU also faces a £15,000 fine for a separate serious breach after almost 300,000 emails were sent to Ildon customers containing a newsletter for the Brexit campaign group. 
A final decision is still to be reached on an alleged breach relating to the company's overall handling of personal data. The 6th of November 2018 T10 hours 0 minutes and 8 seconds point zero 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 Z Mims Davies has been appointed as the new sports minister after the resignation of Tracy Crouch, Downing Street has announced. Crouch was well-liked and well-suited to her brief as a football coach and qualified referee, but she resigned last week over a delay to plans to curb use of highly addictive gambling machines. Davies was a junior minister at the Wales office for only a matter of months, before being promoted to DCMS. The East Lay MP is a May loyalist and a keen long-distance runner. The 6th of November 2018 T9 hours 44 minutes and 46 seconds point zero 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 Z John McDonnell has defended his controversial backing for tax cuts for top earners, telling rebel Labour MPs they risk defeat in another Tory tax bombshell election campaign. The shadow chancellor was rocked by a revolt by 20 Labour MPs in a budget vote last week, angry that he was failing to fight a shake-up that overwhelmingly benefit the rich. More here, the 6th of November 2018 T9 hours 27 minutes and 56 seconds, 683. Z. Theresa May is expected to set out further information about the prospect of a no-deal Brexit when she speaks to her cabinet later today. Justice Secretary David Gauquet, one of the more pro-EU ministers, told a Channel 4 Brexit debate show, if we leave on no-deal terms there's no good shying away, it will be very bad for us economically, if we can get a good deal, and that means removing all the frictions. The checkers type deal, as I say, if we don't have friction with trade, then, economically, I don't think it's going to make a particular big difference one way or the other. The 6th of November 2018 T9 hours 14 minutes and 27 seconds, 710 Z. Theresa May called the Irish Prime Minister on Monday in order to calm anger in Dublin over comments made by her Brexit secretary, Dominic Robb. Mr. Robb reportedly tried to backslide on a commitment the UK had made to prevent a hard border with the Republic, suggesting that backstop policy should expire after just three months. The Taisha's office said the Prime Minister had sought the call after the comments, said to have been made in a private meeting with officials, emerged more here, the 6th of November 2018 T8 hours 48 minutes and 31 seconds, 760 Z. Welcome to the Independence Live blog, where we will be bringing you all the latest updates from Westminster throughout the day.